I, I will try to give a short overview about how we cover the personalized medicine in Estonia. And if I could go to the next slide, uh, I'm not able to control it, I guess. No? You should be able to control it. So oh, sure. yes. Yes, I see it yeah. now. Uh, uh, okay, to, to start uh, with, with a slide that why we need to focus on prevention and, and not only uh, when it comes to the healthcare, but uh, in overall uh, developing services to, to our citizens, uh, uh, we need to see that, that it's, it's not the, about the clinical care that we need to worry about because the, uh, the uh, 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 um, um, uh, factors that impact a person's health uh, are, are, are very much wider and, and, uh, and also the data that is necessary to, uh, uh, to, to uh, uh, gather uh, about uh, the, the uh, uh, person's behavior and then putting into the use of, of uh, creating services that are preventive that uh, uh, should involve when a person needs help or, or, uh, or when a state sees that, uh, that we need to intervene. So, so I, I, I think that, that what we have been focusing so far is, is very much on clinical care and then gathering data about clinical care. Uh, we are rather lucky to, to have a biobank where we have a, a, a around 20% already uh, of, of our uh, population as a genome donors. But what we need to focus more and where is the added value of, of providing the, the persons uh, 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 for persons uh, the, the most uh, uh, services that they need is, is how, we, uh, how we actually address the, uh, the uh, social uh, side and uh, the health behavior side uh, of, of these services. So, so I think the message here is, is that when thinking about prevention, we need to think and, and look throughout the, the uh, life cycle of, of a person and uh, in different sectors. Um, and uh, I, I highlighted here the, the uh, I think three main pillars that uh, that uh, there are, of course, other strategic pillars that impact the uh, development of personalized medicine. But uh, going from the upper level, the national digital agenda, which is basically setting the framework, uh, uh, what 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 are the guiding principles? Uh, how we provide uh, e-services uh, to our citizens, uh, and and how to we uh, make it seamless and and event-based uh, uh, provision of e-services, uh, and and what are the tools that we need to develop in order to to be able to to have the best possible services available for our citizens. Uh, then we have the welfare develop, development plan, uh, which sets the framework for for uh, uh, well-being of of, uh, of a person, uh, uh, starting from the uh, uh, from the birth to the to the uh, latest years of of uh, of, uh, uh, of a person, and then trying to sort of set the uh, safety net uh, that where and when we should involve uh, as, uh, as a state and then uh, I guess most important the national health strategy uh, that with its uh, <clears throat> with its four pillars is, is uh, basically giving the, the uh, framework what are we uh, doing in a personalized medicine uh, area and, and I think personal medicine impacts or practically every aspects of uh, of uh, of uh, uh, these uh, four pillars and of course uh, uh, being being the uh, uh, tool also to uh, assure accessibility uh, and and uh, and have the integration uh, uh, within services uh, and of course 
hopefully uh, what we need to consider uh, at, at all times that uh, we should focus on or reducing in, in inequality of of, uh, of, of uh, uh, provision of healthcare and uh, if we think about the, the different e services that we are creating here uh, then um, I will not go through everything, but uh, but I think the, the personalized medicines very much uh, uh, focuses on uh, human centricity, which is on the uh, left corner here, uh, um, and and uh, trying to sort of uh, solve it by the, with different uh, IT tools that support the uh, the development of personalized medicine as well. But not only, uh, uh, I think uh, when it comes to the, uh, to the uh, uh, quality data and infrastructure, uh, uh, that is the core uh, uh, with what we are able to provide uh, uh, personalized medicine. I think this is something that uh, uh, my colleagues will address uh, later as well. And, and of course, thinking about the development new services, uh, then uh, we, we can't underestimate the analytical capacity and tools that actually help to uh, create uh, great new services and test whether the new services are, 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 are working as well. Um, and when we think about the personalized medicine and, and its components in Estonia, then uh, we, are, we are rather well positioned. Uh, as, as I mentioned, we have a biobank that is uh, very professional and, and uh, involves uh, uh, quite substantial amount of Estonian uh, uh, citizens. Uh, uh, our professional, both in healthcare sector and, and in research level and in uh, enterprise level, are, uh, I think, on top of the world <laughs> when it comes to the uh, uh, genetics. Uh, and we have willing patients. Uh, our studies show that, uh, that people are not only uh, they are willing, but they are expecting to have uh, their genomic data uh, put into the practice and then put into their hands uh, to provide better services. And of course, what is the role of the, uh, the uh, ministry here is, is to create the legal and governance framework that supports uh, all these uh, uh, counterparts that are motivated to, to go forward and, and, and to have uh, best possible services available. Um, when we, in, in sort of strategic level, everything is, is sort of clear and, and quite understandable, but, uh, but the, the, I think, struggle, what we are seeing here is, is that how do we make it happen uh, on, on a daily basis? Uh, because as, as I mentioned, we have the, the customers that uh, want the service now, uh, they have their own uh, idea how to do it. Uh, and and, and uh, they basically see that, uh, that the, the, uh, uh, everything should be ready already yesterday. And, and why are you not providing the, the uh, services that, uh, that uh, uh, they, they need? And uh, the tricky issue there is that, uh, that in order to provide uh, genomic-based services, uh, we need to make a lot of adjustments uh, to our e-health system. Uh, we need to develop our health portal. Uh, uh, we, we need to integrate everything to the uh, uh, state architecture. Uh, we need to have the primary care uh, uh, involved and, and actually uh, 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 being able to provide the proper guidance. Uh, and then we have different uh, uh, institutions involved that uh, all have a bit different interest uh, when it comes to the outcome of, of uh, and results of these services. And, and of course, we have uh, a specifically focused, uh, focused uh, uh, working groups with the, uh, with the uh, EU funds uh, trying to uh, uh, set the infrastructure for, uh, for 
uh, for uh, personal medicine services. Uh, uh, Anders already mentioned the RITA project that uh, should provide us the, the know-how what we actually should aim. And then we have the personal medicine council established by the minister that uh, should set the uh, the uh, longer term uh, uh, longer term uh, um, uh, framework for for developing uh, 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 personalized medicine in Estonia in, in future years. So this is quite a challenge. It's just a piece of things that uh, are uh, interrelated here, but uh, but it gives some idea that uh, what are we uh, struggling with and and uh, and uh, when when adding uh, uh, up to the uh, uh, question mark for the financing framework, uh, then it's, uh, it's a challenge for us uh, because uh, I, I think we have been able to provide or, or secure financing for, for uh, next uh, two uh, or three years. But uh, after that, uh, we see that uh, if we don't, uh, um, if we don't finance enough uh, for developing new services and products, and if we don't uh, finance enough the the, uh, the ongoing uh, uh, improvement of these services, then we have already lost. So this is a big question mark that I hope uh, will be solved in uh, in uh, in uh, in a matter of this year that we are able to to have. A proper financing for the development of, of personalized medicine services, and uh, of course, uh, what, what is the key uh, is is that in order to provide these services to the whole population, we need to invest more into the biobank as well. That uh, that uh, we get more uh, uh, genome donors and and uh, being able to provide it to the uh, to the as as. Uh, as many uh, citizens as, as, as possible. And, and there, of course, uh, we, I, I think the, the um, audience here today, I, I'm also pleading that, uh, that, uh, uh, that if, uh, if uh, the discussion about the, how to allocate EU funds comes up, then our priority is to invest into the personalized medicine clearly. That, uh, that, that uh, I, I want to be clear. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we, um, we see that, uh, that the underlining uh, preconditions uh, are, are rather good to be optimistic uh, uh, when it comes to the implementation of, of, uh, uh, of personalized medicine. And uh, as, as you might be aware, the Estonia uh, is, is uh, sort of uh, 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 relying uh, on, on electronic ID when it comes to the provision of, of uh, services uh, um, uh, for our citizens. So basically, we have only one ID card that uh, that. Uh, is, is, is a tool with what persons can, can uh, access uh, all the, the uh, services provided. And, and of course, uh, we need to highlight as well that it's, it's not only electronic ID that is in the picture, but also mobile ID and smart ID. And then on top e residency that uh, helps us to identify ourselves and receive the, the uh, a wide array of, of uh, electronic uh, uh, services. Uh, I must say that uh, during the uh, to COVID crisis, the uh, uptake of uh, use of ID card and use of uh, mobile ID has increased a lot, uh, mainly because of the need to uh, get your test results of, of COVID test results and need to get your, your vaccination time. It's, uh, yes, it's, it's another story uh, how the vaccination is going, but uh, clearly the, uh, the uh, systems were, were not built uh, uh, for, for serving uh, the whole population. Uh, we have been 
uh, using this for for uh, providing specialized care and, and now we are struggling to do uh, overcome the, the pressure for our systems but uh, at least the positive side there is is that uh, 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 a number of people are are uh, becoming part of the uh, e-services society and and uh, this is something that we are uh, seeing it as a positive uh, impact uh, and and uh, what is the i think the the main success factor uh, uh, for for us to provide integrated services uh, is the extra where uh, we have set the principles that uh, that we do not gather uh, data centrally but we uh, are able to use the data what is necessary uh, uh, among different counterparts and depending on the service that uh, that we are uh, uh, providing and and of course uh, 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 when it comes to the healthcare sector, uh, uh, what is uh, uh, described here, uh, then uh, the, the guiding principles that we follow is is, is that the data stays uh, there where 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 it, it's supposed to be. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, all the transactions uh, uh, are logged uh, within the system in order to provide. Uh, assurance for for our citizens and in addition uh, uh, from from the side of the uh, uh, citizens they can see who uh, have access their data and, and for what purpose and uh, of course uh, i think the exp expectations of estonian people to to uh, 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 to provide data uh, once only is is very much in in in, in our thinking and and uh, drives the development of different e services as well, uh, including of course uh, personalized medicine when when we have to uh, uh, when we have to uh, uh, consider that whatever data we need uh, about the person to to have the best possible. Uh, service uh, being lifestyle habits or 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 whatever then we need to uh, we need to uh, uh, build the system in a way that we are using the existing data from the health information system from the uh, from the uh, social uh, social insurance for data and so on so uh, this is something that uh, that uh, we need to keep in mind uh, and uh, for for the last, I, I I will give a short overview about our uh, health portal. Uh, currently, we call it patient portal, uh, but uh, what we see that uh, that we need to move forward to the health portal more uh, in order to uh, to to uh, provide. Uh, different set of services for for person and and it's not only about uh, accessing your data and then seeing your your health records but uh, providing different tools uh, that uh, allow person to to take control uh, over his or her uh, 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 health behavior and and trying to sort of nudge people to 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 change their health habits uh, when when uh, when when it is necessary and of course what we see that the genomic data is is a very important part there uh, in order for person to to uh, uh, recognize the, the potential risks and possibilities when it comes to the uh, uh, changing their health habits uh, and and uh, and of course we we uh, see uh, uh, this is not only for for um, for the state to provide services but also for the private sector to be involved uh, uh, and and to provide their products and services via the the health portal uh, so yes it is the uh, channel and and uh, sort of the the uh, uh, visible, uh, uh, visible, visible, visible uh, door for uh, for for a person, 
uh, uh, and then the hard work is easy uh, to creating these services but I, I, I think for, for a person to better understand the, uh, the uh, uh, potential uh, uh, about the use of data and different uh, uh, health products is, is, uh, is very important uh, and, and uh, I think this should be uh, our, our top priority as, as well. Thank you.